Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Jote and we're back with another Jack of All Trades review. This time we're sharing whether you should play or pass on the game Dead Island 2, available now on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Dead Island 2 was finally unleashed on the world after nearly a decade in development hell. After originally being announced and confirmed by PlayStation at E3 in 2014, the game went through the hands of three different studios before finally landing on the doorstep of developer Dan Buster and publisher Deep Silver. Set in Los Angeles, Dead Island 2 features all the graphical improvements you'd expect to come to a gory, gruesome, zombie-killing franchise over the course of more than a decade, while still keeping the same campy feel as the first game. It also makes the smart decision of avoiding too much depth and weaponry and parkour, as another zombie survival series, Dying Late, its sibling made by the initial developer of Dead Island, Techland. The setting of Los Angeles, humorously referred to as Hell A in the game and the marketing material, makes for an interesting backdrop as you go between Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, and Hollywood Boulevard in your attempt to escape the city. Packed full of tasks and side quests, one of which features players as the star of an influencer's guide to surviving the zombie apocalypse as a personal favorite, the real star of the game is the Flesh System. Flesh stands for Fully Locational Evisceration System for Humanoids, and is what powers the absolutely amazing ways you can choose to end the zombie apocalypse with the wide variety of weapons in the game. I constantly found myself amazed as I watched the zombie's jaw collapse after too many headshots from a golf club, or saw the skin sizzle and blacken as I lured one into an electricity trap. Of course, slicing and dicing is an option with the inclusion of what are basically Wolverine claws, as if you aren't already the best at what you do. Firearms also become available later in the game, but turn what was essentially a fun zombie beat-em-up into a point-and-shoot, fish-in-a-barrel, god-mode game. I found myself defaulting to melee weapons to keep things more interesting and really get the most out of the gory flesh system. There are plenty of creative options to brutally maim zombies and a fun, campy narrative that can be enjoyed in a single-player or online co-op experience. Be warned, though, that online co-op doesn't support cross-play. So if you and your friends want to team up as the four slayers and go absolutely nuts together, you'll all have to invest in the same version of the game to do so. In all, I definitely recommend you play Dead Island 2. If nothing else, it's a fun zombie killing experience that has replayability across the four different slayers and the ways and methods you can use to wipe out the apocalypse. As a solid game with limited bugs and issues at launch, and the promise of more content and support to come in the future, it's a great game to dive in and let off some steam for a few hours before returning to your everyday zombie-free life. I hope you enjoyed this review of Dead Island 2. Check out my channel for more reviews of movies, TV shows, and video games. Hit that subscribe button for notifications when I post more full-length review videos, or keep an eye on my shorts for quick and dirty reviews of new content. Plus, follow me on Twitch to watch as I get hands-on with new games and ask my opinion live.